Something kind of fun happened this morning. My channel rolled over all sevens. 7,777,777. 7 I was not planning to make a video at all today. Today's supposed to be my day off, but I have something I want to show you. All of my countertops, for the first time in years, are almost completely clutter-free. This little table over here has had stuff sitting on it ever since I moved it down here from four years ago. And this entire area has been cram-packed with clutter ever since we finished the kitchen down here. This is the only clutter I have left and it'll probably all be cleaned up in the next couple of weeks. So let's talk for a minute about the rice experiment from yesterday's video. The comments on that video were amazing. So let me just start off by saying, no, I wasn't high when I filmed that video. It was not an April Fool's prank. It was not a social experiment, although the kind of reaction it got might make it worthy of one. It was not promoting pseudoscience and it was not scientifically conclusive. But I like you guys and I really care about what you think. So when there's such a strong reaction like there was in the video yesterday, I feel like I have an obligation to give you the rest of the story. First of all, everything I said in the video was true. We did come across a book that people told us to read. Like you, most likely, we were a little bit skeptical, but we thought we'd just read the book and see what it had to say. My wife and I both read it. It seemed interesting enough, although we weren't grasping on the concepts as truth. Instead, we thought it might be worth just having some fun and putting it to the test and seeing what happened. We had seen on the internet that hundreds of people had tried taking cooked rice and putting them in different jars and labeling them and speaking to them. So for a fun family activity, we decided to get the kids involved and we tried that ourselves. Now this is about five years ago. We just moved in our new house. I just started producing my King of Random videos. Things got crazy busy. My wife let me know that for about a month, she did try to keep up with the experiment by having the kids talk to the jars in the morning before school. But with the craziness of life, they eventually just got brushed to the side, tucked on the shelf, and completely forgot about. And that right there was pretty much the end of the story until about six months later, we had some people visiting and they asked us what these jars were on the shelf. And at that time, we noticed they were changing in color, which we found was interesting. We saw that they had changed colors, and interestingly enough, they had changed colors to kind of match the labeling on the jars. Now, like you, we didn't draw any conclusions, we just thought it was interesting, and then forgot about them for about another four and a half years. Two weeks ago, I was running around my basement cleaning up everything that I could possibly clean up, donating to charity, throwing in the garbage, and decluttering. When I came across these jars, I thought it'd be fun just to do a quick video and show you the results of the experiment that we tried. I saw so many comments from people concerned that this wasn't followed through the scientific process. There should have been more samples, the jars should have been sterilized, there should have been a control. Guys! Did not see that coming. If the results of this video inspire other people to try the results for themselves, and everybody comes back with the same results, then maybe this idea is worthy of a more scientific study. Until then, it was just a simple family experiment. Non-scientific, never claimed it was. Go back and watch my video and you'll find that my words were chosen very carefully. But apparently they may not have been chosen carefully enough because a lot of you got triggered. So on that note, I really hope I've been able to satisfy your concerns and put a little context behind the video. Obviously this wasn't an MIT sponsored scientific event. There were just some kind of interesting results to a simple household experiment I wanted to show you before I threw those jars away. I'll see you in the next video. One last thing, apparently I forgot to put the Instagram link in the video where I mixed aluminum with brass. I still am giving away this master sword as well as all these metal alloys. So follow me on Instagram, watch the stories, and in the next couple of days I'll post a link on how you can apply to get them. See you there.